Knife sharpeners should not sharpen shears unless they know what they're doing. These were sent to me by uh, obviously a pretty excellent knife sharpener. And these are special types of scissors that are used for cutting up like poultry and turkeys, this type of thing. The little bulb keeps it from going into the next section. These have a lot of problems, but the main one I think is one that the sharpener created. So this is Joseph, Joseph Ray, say hello. Hello everybody. And this one, I haven't decided whether we want to try to tackle it or not. Uh, when you see what's wrong with it, you'll understand my hesitation here. So, as I said, these are used to cut up like chickens or what have you. And I was telling Joseph about the... Right, the time yeah. Gene got sick. Yeah, yeah, Gene got sick. Cause I, I, I'm not very good at... I, I, we argued about how to cut up a chicken. I came from a family where we cut it up in a whole bunch of little bitty, bitty, bitty pieces. He came from a family that you quarter it and everybody ate like a half a chicken. Okay. And you could see the difference between the weight of the people in his family, my family. So we had only been married, oh, maybe just a couple of months. And we were arguing about how to cut up the chicken. And it sat in the refrigerator too long. Oh, wow. Okay. So finally I decided, I'm going, I was in college at the time, I decided, well, I'm just going to stick it in the crock pot, throw some rice on top of it, put some water on it, put the lid on it and go. Okay. Well, we came home and he was starving. Oh, okay. And he ate it. He says, anything tastes good with ketchup on it. And I'm like, it's, <laughs> this doesn't smell right. Mm. And, and the big joke he still tells you to this day is about he had just signed my life, his life insurance over oh, to me the so day before. Trying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but <laughs> he went, we were in our first little apartment. He would just go out to the dumpster and we won't talk about what he left in the dumpster. But um, <laughs> right. I did throw the chicken in the we dumpster. We won't talk about that, guys. No, no. <laughs> but anyway, these make me a little queasy. And let me show you why they make me queasy. And I'm going to see... I showed this to Joseph. Did I show this to you? You did. So this is my magnifier. When you, I bring it up to my eye, because you got to have to look at it close. Let me see if you can see this. Oh, yeah, you can see it pretty good. You see how that's angled down? I think he not only sharpened this side, I think he sharpened that side like a knife. And I guess if you didn't know better, and in the past, probably before I did any of this stuff, I, I would just think you sharpen both sides. And, but this side has to be flat, as you already know. Right. And so if he sharpened it this way, the only way to fix it is to take off enough metal to get past where he did this angle. Are you interested in trying to take off that much metal today? Uh, I'm down, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get the most aggressive abrasive I've got. Okay. This would be one where I don't have a twice as sharp, but a twice as sharp would probably be the better machine for this. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So you would, because you, you just, we just got to take off all. We're cutting that out the video. You guys will not hear that. No. Oh, no. It's every, you know, different things have its place. Yeah. Okay. And that's another Gene story. I have too many stories about my husband, but we used to have a twice as sharp and he would use it. Oh, really? And we okay. had somebody came in with some, um, roofing scissors and they were they were just nasty they were covered with all the stuff right. so he cleaned them with kerosene and then he used the twice as sharp and the sparks caught the rags on fire and almost burnt down our shed oh, man. <laughs> so that's when i got rid of the twice as sharp i oh, said yeah. like no no one? yeah okay. all right so here's my question too even okay. if you get all this off and we fix this and we got to get down we got that ball in the I way see that. The screw's not holding. The screw's not. There's a pretty nice gap in there. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's a pretty nice gap when you look at it like that. So it comes off and on, but I notice that every time it's loose, I'm, I'm able to see it nicely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this is like I can almost put my finger yeah. between the blades here. Yeah, that's a pretty big gap there. Um, I'm sorry. I think we're going to send these back. Yeah, we might have to. I don't, it might be beyond. Yeah, this here. is, this is, uh, uh, very rarely do I ever send something back, but this is, this is so sad. This is beyond what I can do. Now, if you want to see some more of my successful oh, videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you see the gap? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I mean, if it was held together and the screw was together, but. Um, so we don't think that like switching the washer or something in there is going to fix it. We don't think it's just a. No, no. This is that would be like a hair scissor, and this is not my specialty. Right. Because that's, that's important too. Also, guys, knowing you know what's your specialty, knowing when something is beyond your capabilities at times, and you know staying in your lane, so to speak. You know. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. So these are going back. Don't sharpen scissors like a knife. And I have a lot of videos where I'm sharpening scissors and shears, so you may want to subscribe. And I uh, have some more videos at the end that you may want to catch. But Joseph's here learning, and Indeed. we'll follow his journey as his sharpening progresses, right? Yeah. Hey, y'all, I hope you're staying sharp. This is Bonnie McGowan, your redheaded sharpener here. And if you like this video, I try to post something every Monday. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you're looking for the tools I used in this video, there's some product links and things in the description. And also you can go to the website, www.fanica.com. If you've got questions or you want to connect with me personally, you can always put a comment below, but I've got a lot more links in the description below that will show you how to get in touch with me. I teach in person and online, as well as, of course, these YouTube videos and let's connect uh, let's learn more about sharpening together <laughs>